Hello. Today we're going to read Old Father Check. On Old Father Check, many centuries ere it came to be that a vo voivody Czech lived in the distant lands of the Croats. Bethinking the great lack of land for his people, he resolved to set forth from his native country. His native country. Therewith convening a large congress, he made offerings to the gods, parted ways with the beloved country of his birth, and set off towards the west in search of a new land. Women, children, the elderly, on foot and in wagon, their livestock and property in tow, the entire nation followed its great leader. It was many weeks hence they reached a new country, one hitherto unknown. But lo, the people of this land spoke in a tongue that was not deaf to their ears, and they preserved. Oh, I'm reading so poorly today, sorry. And they persevered, proceeding farther until they reached a place where the inhabitants were dressed I'm only in fur. Woman. I don't understand these things. What do you reckon? Did that battle in Pribitslavitz put an end to the trouble? What are you saying? All the raiding and looting, I mean. Okay, I mean you, um... a stupid woman. Oh, now. That's the daftest thing I've heard today. When I think how you wiped the floor with the miller. They're flirting. Let's, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't have a place to continue. So let's just... Let's just... Read here, I guess. Sorry. Now, where were we? The people of this land spoke in a tongue that was not deaf to their ears, and they persevered, proceeding farther until they reached the place where the inhabitants were dressed only in fur and of a hirsute appearance and blocked their path with arms in their hands. And thus they continued onward, deep through dense, untamed forests, through swamp and brush, until they came to a mountain called Grip, which rose imposingly above the surrounding plain. The entire nation, being fatigued by the exertion of its great journey, dispersed and surrounded the mountain, for to regain their strength. Therewith, Czech himself ascended the mountain, surveying the land from its heights. He beheld fertile lowlands and forests, a wealth of waters and green grazing land. On the morn with him ascended the mountain, a great abundance of his people, and upon beholding that which he too had seen, their hearts their hearts sang out. Thus spoke Voivod Czech. Henceforth we shall not be in want, for we have found the land that we once sought. Behold, this is the promised land, one of milk and honey, pregnant with beasts of the hunt. Here we shall find great abundance, and here shall we find protection from our enemy. But it lacks a name. What say you? How shall we call this great place? In response, all stood as one and let it heard out in a unison of voices. May it share your name! And to the ground they did fall, kissing the soil of their country, of their new country, which has henceforth borne the name of Czech. That was, that was read poorly. Sorry about that. 